Good morning, boys and girls. I am here with my sister, Angela, and she is going to help demonstrate how to draw everyone's favorite puppet, Buckley Beaverton. Angela, say hello to the class. Hello, class. She has a really cool tablet drawing tool. You can use paper or whatever you want, but you need a pencil and an eraser, and you'll see why. But Angela's going to break it down for us and draw Buckley. So go ahead, Angela. What do we start with? We start with a big circle. So that is going to be Buckley's body. Good. We can and all draw a circle. Now we can do his tail. That's more like an oval. So now we have his tail. Now we're going to have his big foot and thigh area. So make another circle. Okay. That's like his leg. Yep. And then make another oval here. Oval. So now I notice he doesn't have a head. Now we're going to make the head. And the head is sort of like a backward C. So notice how Angela just used shapes and she started her body with a circle. The tail's the oval. We have a circle for the leg and then an oval for the foot and a half of a C for the head. Can you kind of see our beaver coming to form? I can. What's next, Angela? So let's just throw in his little arm. Oh, he does have a little arm. Another oval for the arm. And now we can start to see the magic happen if we erase some of these lines, like his head. So now we attach everything by erasing some of the lines. So that's why it's important if you have an eraser. Oh, I see. And now we erase that for his arm. And now you can erase some of these. And that will make his tail. And then make sure the foot is connected. So everything is connected and we're just erasing some of those extra lines. And you can see our beaver is coming into shape here. And I am starting to see Buckley form. This is great. Great job, Angela. And now you can go in wherever you would like. You can add some details, like you can give his tail. So Buckley has his nice, pretty, beautiful tail. Awesome. You can put that there. Now we can add some of his features on his face. You can put a little eyeball. There's his eye. And then, of course, his teeth. That's the most I was waiting for, the teeth. And then his nose. Cute little nose he has. And maybe make like a little mouth. Oh, yes. Now our beaver's alive. And now you can put his ear. I think it's like a C for his ear with a little line. Yep. And he has little claws you can add in. Look at how easy it is to draw Buckley. He does have little claws. Look at him. And you can outline it better than I am doing it. So you're sort of sketching it, and you probably learned that in art class. Yep. And, and then you kind of just see it come together. Voila! There's Mr. Buck. Do you want to split his teeth into two? Would you do that? Yeah. Because, like yeah, maybe like that. I think that looks awesome, Angela. Thank you. So Angela just demonstrated how we can draw Mr. Beaverton using shapes, using an eraser and a pencil. Sketch him out if you want to try drawing him at home. Thank you, Angela. Say goodbye to the class. Goodbye, class.